Cool, man. Um, speaking of pictures and uh, everything that you're doing on, on, on TikTok, um, what are some of the differences that you noticed now that you moved to Croatia? Like, how is life different? How's the culture different? How's the mindset different? The people, the uh-huh, food, okay. the uh, customs, yeah, and things like that. Very different. Uh, still struggling to sort of adjust to, to it in, so, in some ways. You know, like, mindset here is very different to in the UK. Um, I feel like maybe at some points they're back, maybe 10 years of how open-minded they can be. You know, I'm not saying everyone, but um, yeah, it's very, it's very different. You know, I think in the UK, it's a lot easier to sort of make friends and stuff like that. I would say also it's kind of hard here to, uh, at times, you know, as a guy trying to meet other guys to become friends, you know, in the UK, Mm -hmm. you can kind of go to a bar and start talking with some guys or whatever, but here that's a little bit harder to do but um yeah everything else it's it's pretty different it's a lot slower pace here to mm. what i was used to in the uk and stuff so uh that's also one of our big difference um the food also very different everything's different man it's uh everything's different but you know i love it i kind of sort of found my happy spot here so mm-hmm. yeah i think that's that's a nice thing about it mm. Um, I remember that a lot of people that I've met back in Croatia say that for everyone basically living northern than, I don't know, Berlin, that they're kind of colder, more reserved, you know. Do you get the impression that people up north are like more reserved, cold, don't open up that much and that in Croatia people are more open? Or would you say that that's not true? I would say... Uh, it's hard because I don't know a lot, a lot, a lot of people from up north, like northern Germany or or anywhere. I know a lot of Germans, and that they're pretty open-minded to what mm-hmm. who I've met so far. Yeah, so I think I've it depends on like. Yeah, it's a hard question, you know, man. I can yeah. I couldn't say for that one. All right, let let's skip that one. Um, were creation insults the first thing that people thought you? Yeah, to say of, course. <laughs> of course. I remember going back to this Goran, the go- guy Goran, who I first met. You know, the the one who always says, "But fully qualified." I don't know. If, can I swear on here or, or not? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, Make an exception. Uh, <laughs> he said, uh, first day I met him, I had to go to like the van and pick up my my uniform, and I was like, "Hey, man, nice to meet you. I'm Ash." And he was like, "I don't give a fuck, asshole." <laughs> Okay, and then the whole week he was just swearing at me in Croatian, you know, um, <laughs> you know everything, and I had no clue what he was saying the whole week. He was just yelling on me in Croatian. I was like, wow, this guy really hates me. Like, what have I done? Is this is this the life I've chose? <laughs> but you know, he's a big softy after. He's just giving me shit on the first on the first week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that curse words were yeah, the, yeah, the first thing I saw. They also gave you like a, a a strange nickname there for a while, right? Yeah, pitch guy. I kind of gave myself that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I, well, I didn't. Um, I sort of made a TikTok saying like, if you have long hair and jewelry, they call you a pitch guy. <laughs> if you talk about emotions, you're a pitch guy. All these things I do, you know, um, because people were calling me pitch guy. And then um, that TikTok kind of went a bit viral, you know, like two million views or something, or almost two million views now. And crazy um, man. Yeah, and then, and then the nickname kind of stuck, and now people shout pitch cut. On the <laughs> Shouting on the street. <laughs> oh, and that's a crazy story. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, what is this? But um, yeah, I guess it's a cool nickname to have because I don't take insult to it. So, uh, I'm I'm glad that you're um, owning it, kind of not taking offense. Yeah, I have to, man. I have no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> I have no other yeah. choice. At all. Um, I I kind of have a. Um, um, I don't know if it's a habit or if it's just in culture, but when you're really good friends with someone in Croatia, we often insult ourselves more than a person that you don't know. Ah, yeah, 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 of course. Me and my best friend, we abuse each other so much with our messaging. Yeah, it's an yeah. English thing as well. Yeah, I think, I think you know you have a good friendship when you can do that. Yeah. True, yeah. true. If somebody listened to it from the outside who doesn't know you, they'd be like, oh my God, they hate yeah, each other. What, you know? yeah, what, yeah, what are you guys talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Then, then I presume it's universal, you know? Yeah, I think that one's universal, yeah. 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.